Okay, so here we're going to be able to use the same kind of graph with an x and y coordinates um, to talk about a relationship between two variables on a graph. And let me show you what I mean by that. Um, here um, we're looking at the two variables. In this case, are I'll just start with this middle graph. So our y variable is height and our x is age. So like before, <clears throat> excuse me, we still have a y and an x-axis, we still have our origin down here, we still have numbers, but now sometimes um, those x, instead of just saying x-axis, it'll be a topic in there, like in this case we're looking at age or years, um, with a y-axis that, you know, again, sometimes we'll take out, I mean the y will stay there, but we'll just put height or a certain topic. So we're looking at a relationship between those two variables. Variables are just the things that are there, um, sta kind of standing in for the x and the y. Um, and the data on the graph can show us that relationship. So let's stay with that middle graph. And let's look at point B. Now we're just looking at two girls, Belinda and Ann, okay? Looking at their height and age and being able to make a conclusion statement based on that. So if we look at B, for Belinda, we, we can start with the X first. We can see that Belinda is five years old. So I'm just looking down here. Her dot is actually right between the four and the six. So that number would be five. It kind of skip counts here, the X axis does. Sometimes that'll happen. Um, you can skip count, and it, it really depends on the topic. Uh, previously, we saw our x-axis just go from zero and count by ones, but in this case, it's counting by twos. The dot falls right in the middle between four and six, so it's a five. And here, our y-axis is lined up perfectly with 80. So we can even say this ordered pair is five comma 80, but now these numbers have a very particular um, topic. Five is the x-axis, and again, we're talking age, so we can tell that Belinda is five years old. And her height in centimeters is 80. So this 80 is not just some random number 80 now. It's very specific to the height of Belinda in this case. Now we can look at the same kind of thing for on, represented by the letter A here. And we still want to come up with an ordered pair. So we go over, starting in our origin, we see that on lines up perfectly with a 12. So on is 12 years old. That's the x-axis. And she also lines up perfectly with a number here, 140. So she is 140 centimeters tall. Okay, so again, we're not looking at just two random numbers, an X and a Y. It's very specific to a topic, 12 years old, 140 centimeters. So we can start to answer questions about that just based on those two bits of data. We can say who is older, or we can start to ask who is older and we would be able to see that on is older. Now let's look at this first graph because it's the same kind of graph except the numbers are missing that are along the y and x-axis. But we still need to be able to make an inference that on is older than Belinda because if this is our origin down here, which it always is, the further you get away from the origin on the x-axis, the bigger the numbers are getting, the larger they're getting, the greater they're getting. So if we just look at just the x-axis, well, Belinda's right here, whatever the number is, we know from the other graph it's five, but even with missing numbers, we can see that the A for on, A, on is further along the x-axis. And we could think about that as further along the number line. And even though the numbers are missing, we can infer on is older, even without having the numbers. So same deal with the height, right? So we're looking at we're comparing the heights, even though we don't have numbers, if we're looking at the y-axis, if here's our origin down here is zero, the higher you're getting, the bigger the numbers are getting, and on is above Belinda. Therefore, on is taller. And this third graph doesn't give us the numbers along the axes, but it gives us the ordered pairs. So each of these graphs are saying the same thing, and we need to be able to answer questions related to the relationships between the two variables. And these notes down here just specify those variables that we already talked about. The variable on the x-axis is age, and on the y-axis is height. 
Okay, here's another example. Um, if you want to pause the video and start to answer these questions on your own, that's fine. Um, or we could do a couple of them together. So here, we're looking at the variables of age again. Now we're looking at shoe size on the y-axis, okay? So if you were asked the question, what are the two variables in this graph? That's the answer. It's age and shoe size are the two variables. And we could start the answer. Who is the youngest girl? We're looking at Sarah, Tal, and Vola, or Vula, okay? And Sarah's youngest, right? Because again, you start at zero, the age is the x-axis, so whichever girl you come to first, Sarah's eight, and looks like Tal is 12. I'm just lining up the numbers here with the dots. And then Vula is 16. So who's the oldest? Vula's the oldest. Who has the biggest shoes? Well, again, now you're looking at the y-axis. From zero all the way up, Vula is the highest on the I, on the y-axis, so Vula has the biggest shoes. Okay, so you want to be able to answer questions like that to determine, or just it shows relationships on a graph between two variables.